I'm Eric Heinrichs, and I'm a content creator and the co-founder of Real Colombo. And my Instagram handle is at Eric Henry Heinrichs. Heinrichs. Uh, I am the co-founder of Real Talambo and founder of Map.LK and my IG handle is Money Heinrichs. And you're, and you're watching, watching Hashtag, Hashtag Generation. Generation. Yeah, a social media influencer is somebody that has influence. So uh, for me, it looks like somebody who can influence somebody's emotions, influence their mood, their attitude, how they're feeling. So for me, I want to influence somebody's bad day and turn it into a good day. Yeah, and also somebody that can engage with people with their own content. That's what I think uh, a social media influencer is. Um, for me, social media has helped so much. Like all, both my uh, businesses are based on social media. So for my business purpose, most of my clients are from social media. So it has helped me for that, through that. And same for me. Uh, and I think too, for both of us, it's, it's helped pull out our personality, social media has. So we've really been able to get out of our shell because of social media. Uh, it's helped us be more childlike. We met at, at, church. at church. Yeah, I met at church. She was holding the door open for me. It was a total movie scenario. She was holding the door open and I saw her eyes, saw her smiling at me and my, my, my insides melted into goop. And I was like, oh, how do you last and I? And then, yeah, it's all history. <laughs> uh, for me, it was Eric. Yeah, for me, it was lockdown. So <laughs> <laughs> being on lockdown in Sri Lanka, um, it really got me into doing TikToks and things like that. And actually the very first thing I did though was the, the As One song. Yeah. So back uh, when the Easter attacks happened, I was in Sri Lanka uh, just for a short time period. But when that happened, there was something in my heart of like, man, I want to I want to create a song that pulls people together, that brings Sri Lankans together, no matter what their you know background is, what their religion is, but something that unifies them. So I wrote a song called As One. Um, and that really just kind of took everything off. That was kind of the first social media thing I did. So wake, wake, we're just sleeping, we're not dead. What are we waiting for, waiting for Sri Lanka? We are one now. Ah, No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say yes, and he was like, no. Yes, yes totally. I am. We are. Yeah. Uh, because they, they give us a product uh, because uh, they trust us and we right. should honor them. So uh, I am completely responsible and I want to give my best. We want to give our best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, yeah, we try to be as socially responsible as possible to make sure we're representing them. Yeah, well. representing yeah. is very important for us. 
yeah, there's a balance. There's a balance to it because you can't be too transparent. Because if you're totally transparent, if like all the doors are open in your life, then like I can't really, then what does my relationship with Manisha look like? You know, if I'm totally transparent with everybody in the world that my audience is, they're, they're all watching and I'm just telling everything, then it's like, what does that leave for my real, real life relationships? Um, so I would say, yeah, there's a balance and you can't be too transparent. Sometimes you have to, for me, if I'm totally transparent, then I don't give somebody something to laugh at. You know, I don't give somebody something to smile about because they're already going through a very transparent day when they're watching, you know, when they're going through their life. So when they watch social media, I want it to be something different, something that shifts the narrative a little bit. You know, so it, it doesn't feel good to have a busy work day and then you go onto social media and then it's just more blah. <laughs> you want to go on social media and have something to smile about and give you joy. So that's my goal, isn't it? To be totally transparent, but just to kind of really create an aura, create an ambience when they come onto my page where it's like, wow, I feel happy here, you know? So I don't want to be on social media and be like, I'm depressed too, guys, but here's a funny video. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm depressed, but you yeah. get it. What do you think? You said it all. <laughs> cool. <laughs>I would say internationally, I really like this guy named Gary V. Uh, Gary V is really good because he's really good at like helping kind of our generation in really getting your voice heard on social media, but also teaching you not to let bullies or haters get you down. So I really like Gary V. Um, there's a comedian on TikTok called Adam W, who's really good. You guys should check him out. And then uh, this other guy named Zach King. He's like kind of a magician on TikTok. He does really cool videos, Zach King. Yeah. For me, it's uh, Nico. Um, he's like, he's got his own YouTube channel and everything, TikTok as well. And I like his, how he engages with people, how free he is. And that's something inspires me to be free through my videos and he has his uh, whole family in it as well and his kids are so cute. Him and um, again, uh, Khalid Almara, I, Almari, Khalid Almari. Can You're I nice. repeat that again? No, what is the meaning? It's a cupboard. Oh, an Almari. <laughs> <laughs> an Almari. Don't that, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Khalid. Um, Khalid Almari with his... Almari. <laughs> okay. Khaled. He's literally um, a cabinet. He's, uh, he and his wife does some really amazing uh, shows uh, and that inspires me to do stuff with him. Um, and that's my, yeah, that's my international uh, favorite ones. And local, I can say Lochi. She's, yeah, Lochi's uh, great. She's really good. Really good standard of stuff. Yeah, her standard yeah. is amazing. Yeah. And also, also me, I'm one of your favorites. Yeah, Eric Heinrichs. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna take a break. Porakina, don't go anywhere. This is gonna be the next most awesome segment you've ever seen on high TV. It's gonna be <laughs> blow your mind, right? And yes, Sinia Vilatini, Manteca Kadagine. Oh Siniava. Siniava.
Hi everybody, I'm Pete Rainwater, and today I want to teach you some things about Sri Lanka. So first off, we've got hashtag gen narration. No, hashtag parampara. No, it's hashtag generation, Lamaya. Okay, how did that? All right, now next we've got api tama hakuna matata. No, api tama hakuna matata. No, 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 I understand, but api tama hakuna matata. Okay, do you know that? Okay, now next we got Hi TV. That's where everybody just says hi on TV. Hi. Just like that. Hi. All right. And now next we got Gigan Inna. And that means bye. bye. to the show. Hashtag generation. Welcome to our house. I just want to first off endorse this. This is called a... Hira Mane. Hira. Hira? Mane. Hira Mane. Okay. I, I knew what the name of it was. Hira Mane. I was testing her. Hira Mane. And basically I don't leave home without this. Like this is the most useful thing you could ever have. Like sometimes I just call Ami. I'm like, hey, oh, Ami. Mama Poganoa, Prashnak Nada, she's like, ah, Prashnak Nada. It always impresses the Amis. You, you need to hear her Hermione. <laughs> and for me, this is the scissor. I, used, I usually cut my hair with this, but you know, when I get mad, really mad, I cut Eric's hair with this. Yeah, that's why I look like this. This is my strength. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I look like it. And that's why I look like this. <laughs> My preferred angle is like this. <laughs> uh. Honestly, I don't take a lot of selfies. Yeah, Eric yeah, doesn't. I don't take a lot, a lot of selfies. I take a lot. Manisha takes the selfies. I just like, yeah. So it's like this. I'll show you. Like that. You take it. Like half of the face. You really don't need the face to be honest. Nowadays, you just need that. <laughs> Stay like that, I'll take okay. it for you. Thank you. The smolder, because they're only really going to see that part of your mouth. Perfect <laughs> selfie every time. Post that, yeah. See how many likes you get? Yeah. <laughs> I should post it. <laughs> Don't. Did you actually take a photo? Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For a candid. You usually do like the, do like the side look, like that. Kind of thing. You look like you, you look like you're like you're not being watched. Yeah, ah, do a candid. Okay. Do a candid to me. To capture this. Get that jawline. Sometimes you just gotta flex your your chin. Like that. <laughs> Perfect. Now you're candid. Go for it. My candid pose would be um, something looking take... on the other side. Nice. Hold that. Uh, oh, something. my finger was in it. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good photo. We need to keep this lighting in here. Something like that is my camera. Nice. My favorite out of all the pictures uh, first is actually this, which is my first IG post that I posted uh, with my church friends. Uh, they are very, very important and they're very close to me. So I love them so much. Uh, it's that. And second is a picture with my mother. That's like the uh, only picture that I was able to post because my mom doesn't like me posting much. <laughs> uh, me posting much pictures of her. So this is one of that. It's one of my favorite. And third is a picture with my brother that's also like a proper good nice picture with him uh, this was at my brother's wedding because uh, we don't have proper nice pictures <laughs> so this is one of that and 
Fourth is our wedding picture. This is such a candid picture taken by uh, Candy oh, yeah, Dreams, Kavindu Senanaika. And it's beautiful. I love this moment. This was when um, we were actually getting married at, yeah, yeah, was at the before the first itself. at the ceremony. And and also my other favorite is when Eric proposed me. Uh, I love I love this. Oh, yeah, this is when uh, Eric proposed me, and that's one of my favorites too. I would say also this wedding one, the one with the sparklers. That yeah. One. That one's super nice. I like that a lot. Um, I like this one of us giggling together right here, actually, in the garden. That one. Yeah. That one's really sweet. And I'll just give you one more. Let's see. I really like um, okay. this, these that we do. Yeah, when we travel or go to different places, we like to take the same ty type of photo, this kind of style where I like, you know, kind of like a yeah. dance move kind of thing. So, so I have this one that's a cover for a song, actually that I did a single called Love Like That. But I love the photo because it's actually a photo of my, uh, my grandma there and my dad and my aunt, uh, all in a boat on the Amazon River. So that one's really cool. And... Lastly, I really like this cover for Mata Taba One. It's a song that I did uh, in Kavindu. What's his last name? Kavindu. Kavindu Yeah, I took an awesome photo for us. This totally cute photo, Mata Taba One. I love Alla. Alla is like uh, yeah. beautiful. That's my favorite place to take pictures. And uh, also there is Jetwin Kandruketta. Yeah, uh, that place is beautiful. That place is beautiful, so beautiful nice. field. And they have so many places to go in that location. And uh, also Golfort. Golfort is a very uh, lovely place to take pictures. Yeah. And what else? Within Colombo, there's some like foodie places. Like Department of Coffee is a really nice place, foodie place. So you take you can take good pictures of their coffee, uh, and of their they just have a nice setting too. It's like on second story, right near the race course. Right near the, the race building. course. It, it looks really, really nice. nice. Um, yeah, you said you said Welligama, no? No, we didn't say Welligama. Yeah, Marissa Welligama. is also awesome, lovely. Marissa Welligama, really nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's been a lot since since being here in, in Lanka land that we've collaborated with. I would say some of the ones that I really enjoy the process of and the recording of, that Silver Isle one was really fun. Uh, we did this like one about how you get a bunch of the same gifts on your wedding with Silver Isle. It's a wedding registry. Um, all the ones with Duraz are always fun. I enjoyed doing, doing work with Duraz. Recently, I did one for an innerwear and underwear brand called Huskies, and that was a lot of fun. Just the whole shoot process, it was like good atmosphere, so really fun brand to and work with. And the product with. is amazing. And the product too. is amazing. It's like angel feathers on your, on your bum bum. So, <laughs> um, and in the future, I would love to do stuff with like Coca-Cola. I like Coca-Cola's brand. Um, and what about you? What do you think? Uh, I would like to work with uh, Odell in the future. I've always wanted when I was you say small. Odell or Adele? Odell. Adele the singer? Oh, Odell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was gonna do it really nicely. <laughs> You're doing I told good. you not to distract me. <laughs> we uh, talked about this. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, should I repeat it again? Yeah. yeah. Odell. I would like to uh, work with Odell in the future because uh, 
I've always wanted uh, ever since I was small. Uh, yeah, that's one of the local brands I would like to work with. Mm. International? International would be uh, Zara and Sephora. Sephora is like, yeah, yeah, I really want to. Yeah, so uh, not too long ago, I had made this funny video about how aunties always say, Oya Cavada, Oya Cavada, every time you come over. And it turned into a t-shirt thing. We actually partnered with a brand called Agape with a friend of ours named Pumi, and she made these shirts that actually said Oya Cavada on them. And then that turned into a charity where every time somebody bought a t-shirt, we were gonna feed a kid in need. And so we partnered with a project called uh, Nelly. Nelly Tree, Nelly Tree. And um, we were able to do like this event where we like did music and uh, wearing our Oya Cavada t-shirts and feeding the kids uh, some some packets and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a good yeah. one. And we're planning some actually for this Christmas as well that we're looking forward to. I would really like to do like, uh, so I'm from America, I'm from the States. I'd like to do some fun videos of Manisha's interaction with the United States, Manisha going to Texas, Manisha's, just like I'm experiencing Sri Lanka. Yeah. I'd like to showcase her experiencing Texas and experiencing America. Yeah, maybe skydiving. I'm really scared of uh, heights, but I really would love to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Might do it, might not do it. Yeah. Okay, guys, tune back in in a second. This is Hashtag, Hashtag Generation. A song for you. Hey there, Manisha, Oya Ada Hadi Lassanai, Oya Ge Amata Kiana, Mama Poganam Kila. Mage Baba, Mage Panna, Mage Rataran. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's your mom's doll curry. <laughs> Mostly that. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, my Sri Lankan beauty. My Sri Lankan beauty. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the show. Apiyamu. Hashtag generation. So top three editing apps, there's actually a local one called Wibble that I use a lot. Um, it's really good, it's really simple if you wanted to make like TikTok style videos or if you wanted to make like vlog videos, it's really nice. Um, and then honestly TikTok I use a lot, just editing basic videos on TikTok. And then on my laptop I use Adobe Premiere. Yeah. I don't make much videos, but for pictures I use InstaSize and uh, Canva. I don't really use filters uh, much, but Manisha's a professional filter user. <laughs> yeah, Eric is like all natural. I'm all natural. Right. I use this one with uh, the one that says Wednesday, all the days, yesterday and tomorrow. Oh, it's yeah. called Now. And also this sparkling one, which is called Glow. Um, those are most frequent. And also the sun kissed one. Top three hashtags, uh, hashtag Sri Lanka. I put in like pretty much every post that I do. Um, hashtag comedy, most of the times I'm using that. Um, if it's on TikTok, then I'll put hashtag FYP for For You page. Um, or on Instagram, another one might be like hashtag couple. That's a good one. Are you gonna use that one? Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking, okay, Sri Lanka. Yeah, I use Sri Lanka as well. And hashtag couple and hashtag uh, uh, love and hashtag model no <laughs> it's funny she doesn't want to use <laughs> i don't use hashtag model because i'm not a model but you are uh, so yeah hashtag 
those are the hashtags I most frequently use. I like to use like that little mouse thing that says click me because it's, it's interactive. So if I'm posting a link to a song or to a YouTube uh, link, then I'll just put like the little click me GIF and people, it makes people click it. <laughs> I don't, uh, I use GIFs, but for different instances. So I don't stick to one GIF, but uh, there is one that I also use like an arrow if I need to like point something. That's something I always use, but for other stuff, uh, for different pictures, I use different uh, GIFs. Um, checking my DMs, uh, checking how many likes and comments I've got <laughs> uh, to my post and uh, checking how many views I have for my stories and uh, yeah and posting story one or two stories uh, daily if possible if I have time. Yeah, yeah similar for mine I check my request box often because I get lots of requests coming in make sure I don't miss anything. And yeah, I'll reply to comments and stuff like that. Yeah, I would say a common one I see if somebody's trying to like grow themselves as a brand or grow their own brand, like a business they have, I think what's important is don't push your own brand too much, especially at the beginning. And I see this happen with a lot of newbies is they'll they'll maybe get like a thousand followers or they'll post one good video and they start getting some attention and then immediately they start trying to sell something. But people don't want to be sold something. Uh, what is that? Kitty! Malu. <laughs> malupan, malupan, malu. Oh, it's Malu. Yeah. Epa, thank you. Should I close the gate? It's okay. So, so yeah, I would say sometimes People try to sell something too quick, newbies do. And I would say you need to really build your audience, build trust with your audience, and always focus on what you can give your audience. Don't focus on what you can get from them. Um, yeah, I would say too often newbies can do that. Wrapping up time. Yep, that's a wrap. Thanks guys for tuning in. It was a blast. Hope you guys got something from it. Hope you're inspired to create and break your own boxes. So never feel limited, just go for it.